and welcome to the show. Put your hands together and join me in welcoming Buzz. Yes, hello, welcome one and all for This Is Buzz, the only show that really knows how to get a buzz going. Who's going to be putting their metal to the test? Let's meet today's Trivia Gladiators. If you want to play, hit your buzz time to select a character. The button, you'll need some clothes to wear. Buzzer sound. I like this part. Choose now. Input your name. Scroll through the letters with your colored buttons. Select them with your buzz. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Who wants to choose the first subject? How about you? of sports questions ready trivia glands ready just press the colored buttons to answer as we play point B <laughs> just answer in your own time with the colored buttons by 2007 which team had blitzed to more NFL championships than any other You, you look foolish. You really do. In which sport might you perform a Boston Crab? No. <laughs> and the lead is now yours. Which of these is a class in Olympic sailing? <laughs> Come on, let's find out who takes the points. <laughs> well, I suppose one of those had to be right. The biennial European Basketball Championships is more commonly called what? <laughs> Everyone wrong! A slap in the face of all I hold dear. The football team known as the Cowboys call which city home? Well, I never! Did you just get one right? Turk Halil Mutlu has won three consecutive gold medals at the Olympic Games. In which discipline? Someone tell the telepath! They were thoroughly wrong! No clear leader at the end of that round. Exciting! <laughs> right. Henceforth, fortune smiles on losers. If you're in last place, you get to choose the category for the next round. You'll need your coloured buttons and your brain. Extreme! It's that time again when I test your knowledge with the aid of unstable explosives. Let's play Short Fuse. Answer right to lose the bomb. Here it comes. Which of these sports was born in California in... No. Which extreme sport is Tanner Hall's specialty? Scuba divers who go too deep can be affected by which hazard? So young, so beautiful, so damaged by comical combustibles. Incoming! In which soaring sport is the record for highest altitude over 60? Get rid of it! Get rid of it! 
In climbing, which of these words means controlling the rope fed out to a fellow climber? Lose that bomb! In which contact sport do jammers try to get around block? Oh, 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 get rid of it! Which jackass is also a professional skateboarder? No, no, no! What was the early form of high speed sport? Never underestimate the power of the cartoon bomb. It's lit! Prepare for carnage! In February 2006, 400 people took part in a record breaking feat in which. Never! In which sport do the competitors get a little engine help? Lose that bomb! To extreme sports fans, what is a power riser? Oh, yes! The Gold Coast is a popular surfing area in which country? Very wrong indeed! Between 1978 and 1989, Norway banned the use At the beginning of GoldenEye, which daring stunt does dub... No. Which daring activity has participants aim... Nothing says you made a mistake like a few kilograms of high explosive! Lovely! Did they teach bomb disposal at nerd school? Either way, you're still in the lead! <laughs> Before you get some medical attention, I have one more task for you. Losers are choosers. That's you. Pick a category for the next round, if you please. Okie dokie, sports personalities. Fastest finger! Self-explanatory, really. Answer fastest, score largest. Simplicity itself. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. You see, the faster the answer, the more points you'll rake in. Which basketball star had the nickname Bull? <laughs> a buzzer isn't a toy. Okay. No points. Who ended a long drought for European golfers by winning the 2007 British Open? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, me. There's nothing as satisfying as someone supremely confident falling flat on their stupid face. Which tongue-in-cheek title is given to the last NFL draft pick? <laughs> Faster than a greased leopard. Yeah. Who won the grueling 2007 Tour de France? Wrong! You got cocky and paid the inevitable. At which weight does fearsome Dr. Steelhammer Vladimir Klitschko box? Oh, yeah. oh, I'd have been a guess. I don't care. Well done. Superfan Freddy Says is a familiar figure at which team's games? <laughs> Let's not let on. I'm desperate for points. Pathetic. Bandage those fingers and shake that popstool's hand. On top after the fastest finger. Yeah, baby. <laughs> As last place, you get to pick the category for the next round. Uh... 
Achievements Sportive. <laughs> Yours. It's time to get messy, answer fast, and get the chance to throw dessert at your opponents. Let's play Pie Five. Remember, people, only the fastest of answer gain control of the pie. Prepare yourselves. America's 92-year-old Banana George hold records for water skiing without what? It's your buzzer to stop the crosshair in your intended pie! Tasty? Well, that pie removed the life and you only have two each, so you best look sharp or you'll be saying goodbye to this round. At the 2006 US Open, which tennis ace won her 59th and final Grand Slam trophy? Okay, choose who to pie. Hungry? I hate to alarm you, but you have only one life left, my pop princess. In 2006, which team won Super Bowl 40 with the help of MVP Heinz Ward? <laughs> Who's for the pie? I don't miss eight pie. Can you taste that? That's the taste of defeat mixed in with a bit of pie. As of 2007, which is the only team aside from the Yankees to have won 10 World Series? All I wanted was the answer, and this was it. As of 2008, who has been voted the NBA's MVP a record six times? Righty, who's gonna get this pop? Look out. Another faux pas, and it's exile to Elba for you and your score. Last life. In 2004, who became the first American to win the Indianapolis 500 in the 21st century? Okay, who's gonna get it? Score! Kick them when they're down. I like it. As of 2008, who's the youngest player to hit 500 home runs? The answer you wanted, this. <laughs> Which perfect pitcher won his fourth Cy Young Award in 1995? Time to pie, but who? You decide. Pied! Champ! Pocket a thousand points! 500 for second, 250 for third, and nothing for you who went out first. Top of the charts after the pie fight, babe! Top of the charts! <laughs> Losers are choosers. Make your choice. Um. Extreme sports in your face! It's time for you thieves to shine. Buzz in fastest on the right answer, and you get to pilfer someone else's points. It's Point Stealer. Oh. When you see the picture that answers the question, hit your buzzer. Who must jump from a fixed object? Hold the answer. Danny Wei became the first person to jump the Great Wall of China using which of these? If I don't give you the right answer, you'll be wondering for the rest of your lives. Who's finding life a grind? No, 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 no. 
steal from your victim by selecting their corresponding colour with your coloured button to each according to their need. Give them up. Which of these sports is the oldest? Good strategy. Wait for everyone else to mess up. Who's it gonna time to give those points back? I believe. Style, Grace, they have nothing to do with our leader, but she don't care. Sitting pretty at the end of Point Stealer. <laughs> Last place, accept my charity and pick a category. Extreme! Everyone, this is high stakes. Bet high if you know your onions, low if you don't. Or maybe take a risk. Let's play! The first question cometh. What's it on? Cautions for losers. Make your stake with your coloured buttons. OK, no more bets. Question, please. What are essential pieces of equipment in this venturous sport? Maximum stake, right answer, massive win. Hi Rollers, your next question. Okay guys, let me feel the fibre of your fabric. Okay, all bets in, question please. Which name is given to a skater or surfer who rides with their right foot forward? And lifetimes of dents rolled into one. Look at your score and then look any of us in the eye. I dare you. Another question comes, and this one's on. Stakes is high. Place your bets. Bets are in and go. To perform a Teletubby, you need expertise in which sport? Some of you look foolish, some of you don't. All the same to me. Life is short, and so am I. Your last topic on the high stakes? Honest Buzz says, place your bets. Big bets from everyone. Confident, are we? Which 70s Bond movie gave the wider world its first look at this extreme sport? said to myself, that one's going to get cocky. Wrong answer. No more bets, people. High stakes is done, and the grinning girl in the 60s dress is top up. <laughs> the time has come to fasten your seatbelts. You will be the last one to remain at the end of... The final countdown. Time to convert those hard-earned points into time. The more points you've scored, the more time you get. But you have to answer fast here to avoid elimination. Which unusual sport is governed by the WBTF? Look out, someone's in more hot water than a Japanese teabag.
In 2006, motocross rider Mike Metzer successfully backflipped over which Las Vegas landmark? If you get three in a row wrong, you'll see how unpleasant I really can be. Okay. Which tennis star comes from Croatia? Okay, I'm taxing your time. You're going to have to pick it up. As of 2008, which player had pitched eight complete World Series games in consecutive order? A real skin of the teeth job. I respect it. Which country is the only nation to have participated in every FIFA World Cup? Eliminated! Time the chance of what? In which sport would you walk the dog, rock the baby, and go around the world? My poor sea bum encrusted friend. You are in last place. In football, a player who specializes in catching passes is called what? <sighs> okay, people, pace is picking up. In the 1970s, which country hosted the Rumble in the Jungle fight? <laughs> Consider yourself pawned, my friend. You like that? In 1971, Alan Shepard was the first man to play golf where? Oh, don't like the look of your time left at all. In 1996, who was a Wimbledon doubles champion at 15? Eliminated! Get that leotard out of the ring! Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our winner! What a game! And what a winner! I'll be honest. I didn't think you could do it, but you proved me wrong. Normally, I'd get violent when that happens, but your relentless good cheer and high spirits have melted something in me, and all I have to say is this. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Love you. Love each other.